Hi, Jack Heath here for HRCU today, and always fun to be around the home, the headquarters, the home of HRCU, right here in Rochester, especially this time of year with President Brian. Brian, I call him President Brian. <laughs> you know what? This is the time of year where groups need some assistance, and you work with them through your Christmas caring campaign. Groups like Susan Ford, she's the executive director of My Friend's Place in Dover. But it's really a year-round effort with you and your team here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it, it is, Jack. Uh, uh, every year we're, we're um, donating in the community. We're um, very involved with the community. But in the, the Christmas season is especially um, important to us where we, we started this campaign a few years ago um, and it's grown over the years. And in this year, the credit union will be giving away $30,000. To groups like Susan, uh, her executive director of My Friend's Place in Dover, and, and thanks for being with us on HRCU today. Thank you for having me. You actually have a neat story that's personal to you. Tell us a little bit about My Friend's Place and your involvement. Uh, well, about 20 years ago, I found myself homeless with two small children and um, lived there for five months at, at the shelter in Dover. Uh, the building hasn't changed much since I lived there. Uh, it was interesting when I first started there, my, the executive director retired uh, that I replaced was the executive director when I lived there and he brought me down to the basement and said you might want to look at your file and maybe pull that. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're the executive director in yeah. helping how many people men and women? Men and women yeah we serve families single women and single men uh, right now at the house right now we have four families varying in ranges and sizes and ages of children um, uh, four single women and four single men and last night I had two uh, that showed up in the middle of the night uh, that we put on, on cots in our living room. I got into the business because I didn't really like the way that I was treated, not, mm -hmm. not at my friend's place but through outside agencies. Uh, I got told a lot that my expectations were too high uh, because I wanted a safe place for my family to live um, but I didn't have the income to support that. So. Do you feel pretty good about my friend's place today in terms of the work you're doing and the help you're providing? I feel excellent about it, yeah. yeah. Um, I truly want to help um, make people see that uh, they can make a difference in their own lives. They just really need to work, you know, work at it. Well, this year, the Christmas Care Campaign, Brian and his team helping out, but if people want to get involved in My Friend's Place yeah. or help out, how, how should they do that? <clears throat> well, they can call the shelter. Um, they can visit our website, which is uh, www.myfriendsplacenh.org. Uh, all of our contact information is on there. There's several ways that they can help. Uh, even though we receive federal funding, it's a very small drop in the bucket of what we need to help people. Uh, there's a list of things on the website for donations that we need, like linens and towels. We go through that a lot. A lot of personal hygiene products, um, things that the, f the, the money that is in our budget doesn't give us to give to, to clients. Uh, especially this time of year, we're doing Christmas presents and we're getting companies to adopt our families so that everybody has um, has some present under the tree, including adults. You know, we're all kids at heart at Christmas time. Right. I don't know about you, but well, that's that's the Susan Ford, uh, executive director at My Friend's Place, and Brian. It always reminds me when I meet someone like Susan is you know the people that really do need the help it could be someone a lot closer to you and a lot could be a neighbor could be a relative <laughs> and you never know in life so it's neat very special that this place exists and what you're doing and the help that you're giving it Brian yeah well, thanks Jack uh, we're, we're, we're happy to be able to help and we'll we'll be over um, probably in a few weeks with uh, with a donation and, and what's uh, what's interesting what we do Jack is we don't just send them a check we have um, staff we have volunteers who come on, who, who come over to to come see the see the organization? It truly takes a community mm -hmm. to 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 yeah. do this. We I wouldn't be able to do the great work that I I think I do and that I've been told I do, uh, as well as my staff without people from the community like like yeah. uh, Holy Rosary Credit Union and Brian. So. Well, great to be with you. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Susan. Good luck. Thank uh, you. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and for the people who help year round. Another example of HRC who very much involved in the community. As part of the Christmas Caring Campaign, Jack Heath, we'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.